to do it real quick. My name is Mark Elsevier. I'm with the Council of Canadians, uh, regional organizer, I'm here today uh, to protest the, uh, the complete overreaction by the Toronto Police Forces. They um, they arrested something like 900 people. Um, they're calling that only 600, but I think any time you're stopped from doing what you want to do for three or four hours and kept in the rain, I think you can consider that an arrest for sure. We warned uh, for weeks before this happened that, uh, that the police were uh, potentially going to overreact. Um, we've seen it happen so many times before after Sergeant Pepper and, uh, and the, the APEC uh, uh, protests in Vancouver in the, in the late 90s, the inquest after that, so the police overreacted, they listened to political orders when they shouldn't have. We also ha saw the same thing happen again after Quebec City, where uh, the FTAA uh, protests there, where the, the RCMP used um, uh, far too much force. They didn't uh, give any warning to demonstrators before trying to clear them. They used far too much tear gas. The inquiry after that declared that the RCMP had acted improperly and uh, too forcefully. And now, after Toronto, we're going to have the exact same situation. We're going to have a situation where there's going to be an inquiry, and it's certain that we're going to have a uh, uh, a ruling, I think, that says the police overstep their bounds once again. Uh, it seems that in Canada, all they have to do is uh, overstep their bounds, and uh, there's no real punishment. So it's um, it's a shame when you consider everything that's going on uh, at the G20 and at the G8. There's tremendous protests happening, tremendous peaceful protests. Um, there was some vandalism on the Saturday. Shouldn't take away from the rest of it. People that did that vandalism were more than capable of arresting them. They decided not to. They waited until uh, there was uh, peaceful protesters.